Hello YouTube. We're going to do a quick video here. I had a person leave a comment, that was a couple videos back, about hey, use MERS. It's it's better. It'll transmit further. So, what that person was referring to, as you can see in the screen here, I'm on the FCC's website is the MERS radio service and there are some advantages and there's some disadvantages of this. So let's start with the disadvantages. One, it's two watts max only. Two, there's only five channels. Three, you just can't walk into Walmart and buy a cheap bubble wrap radio and then run with your friends and talk to them. And what I mean by that is the radios at Walmart that they sell the bubble wrap radios are GMRS and FRS services. So if somebody has a, a hunting, you know, they're you know they want they go hunting. Most likely their radio is probably going to be a GMRS or an FRS radio. And if you go to Walmart and you buy one, you can probably talk to each other. Not too many people are going to have the MERS radios on hand locally usually the other disadvantage is you cannot have a repeater so those are the disadvantages the positive of MERS it's a much lower frequency so technically it should travel further I'll, what I can say is um, the town over from the where I live, there's another bigger, t bigger city, bigger town, and they use 800 megahertz trunking. But the sheriff or the county police use 155 point something I can't remember megahertz, and that's because it travels much further. And it can help cut through the trees, the leaves, and all that stuff. I know years and years ago, they tried to switch over the county police to the 800 megahertz trunking system, and it was a disaster. It, 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 they, it did not work. They went back to the old system. So, there's that. Um, the, the Another advantage of... MERS is there's not going to be too much activity on those channels. There's only five channels, but not too many people use those channels. you got to order those radios. So, like I said, the, the ones at Walmart cannot talk on these channels or these frequencies. So, you're going to have less traffic, most likely. So, the other thing, too, is I'm sure you're thinking, well, what about these programmable radios like for instance, the Resivus RT85 uh, handheld that I use in my videos. Can these talk? Can that talk on this frequency? Well, um, yes, technically it can. You can punch in that frequency and it does transmit. Is it legal to? No, because the radio has to be approved by the FCC to transmit on those frequencies. So, technically, no, you're not supposed to do that. Now, the, the handheld that I use does put out 5 watts, and the most you can use for MERS is 2 watts. So, I could go into the settings and select low. I think my radio does have low, medium, high, and I could put low on there, and hopefully that would be a, about 2 watts. Um, but any rate, but technically, no, you're not supposed to use those type of radios because they have to be approved by the FCC. And what I mean by that is if you go under here, they got to be approved under sub part J. Um, you know, so that's the one thing about that. Now, there's no license required. That's another advantage of the MERS that you don't have to go and pay for a license. Um, but anyhow. So what we're going to do, here's the plan. And I know I'm going to get a ton of comments on this.
But, you know, this is just for testing purposes. So, if my Redivis RT85 uh, model can transmit on low watts, about 2 watts, what I'm going to do, then I'm going to build a MERS antenna. We're going to put on the same pole that I've used in all my videos on the GMRS. I'm going to put on the same pole. We're going to do a range test. We're going to do the same locations, and we're going to see if it's better. And we will be able to tell if it's better using only 2 watts. So if my handhelds can go down to 2 watts, I will check here. Um, you know, next day or two here, I'll, I'll bust out the watt meter and we'll check it. Then I will go ahead and start building the antenna. And you will see a video pop up saying, hey, distance test, merge distance test, or however I word it. Then you know, obviously, my radio can do about 2 watts. Is, my, is it legal to have a repeater on MERS? No. But this is a test. This is I'm not going to leave the repeater up. I'm going to take one handheld like you saw in my videos. I use a laptop and software. I'm going to hook it up to the handheld. We're going to hook it up to the antenna that's on a pole 24 feet in the air. We're going to, you know, that's how we're going to do it. Um, think of it as another person standing there and telling me how it sounds. But it just, just for testing purposes. So that's what we're going to do only if I can get my radios down to 2 watts. We'll have to see what the wattage is on low. So that is the plan. So um, stay tuned. If you don't see a video, well, then my radio could not get down to 2 watts. I could probably put an attenuator in there or something. I could probably do something like that. I don't know. We'll, 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 we'll do some checking. At any rate, stay tuned. If you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. And please subscribe. Thank you and have a good day.